to my children who live as memories. When the monsters came for you, I couldn't outrun them. I was weak. Didn't know that I'd been fed poison in palatable doses my entire life. I knew it as Holy Communion. Didn't know that it would make me sacrifice your body as bread and blood as wine. So when you showed up needing a savior, the only one I had to offer was as flimsy as my own faith after all. I couldn't trust you to a God that never saved me. Couldn't trust you to a world that fears the air in your lungs, that hears your sighs as hurricane winds, ready to lay waste to the histories that house their lives. So when the monsters came for you the first time, they looked like the photos of my mother and father holding our family Bible. They sounded like your father's broken record voice, saying he wasn't ready to be a dad. They smelled like my own demons come back to hunt you down like hellhounds. They sent in my fears, used them to track you. But the monster that finally pulled you from my grip was a mirrored image of my mind's own tortured thoughts. It was no beast, but this broken shell of a girl still twisted from run-ins with a grown man when she was only eight years old. This girl whose first commandment learned was thou shalt not get pregnant out of wedlock lest you shame your mother amongst her church friends, this girl who watched her older sister break this first commandment and was excommunicated from the sanctuary of this family. I was too afraid of a life alone to realize your life would mean I was never alone again. The second time around, I didn't even get a chance to fight. I found myself attacked by ghastly ghost pains in the bathtub, but this was no monster of my mind's making. This was the God of my mother and father, hell-bent on vengeance for not being stronger the first time around. Your second death was a miscarriage of justice if ever there was one. I've tried to vanquish my guilt by blaming God's vengeance, but your blood has always been on my hands and heart. I tried to tell myself that you deserve a better life than one with this girl who doesn't know what it means to mother these, but but feeble excuses to light your light inside my belly where no one would see its brightness or my shame. But I've dedicated this womb and these wounds to your memories. No gardens will grow here until your peace revives the hollows between these hip bones. And when the monsters come for your brothers and sisters, I will take up arms in your names. I will battle them back or I will die trying. <laughs>